Hi girls and guys and welcome back to the channel Retail Investing and Trading and in today's video I'll be going over one very very important topic about how to properly read a trend okay and there are a few reasons why I'll go over it but before I'm gonna uh, before I tell you those reasons I want to tell you in like three points what will we what will we cover today so in first we will we will tell you how this market move okay up and down what is the impulse lag what is the retracement how to define it how does impulse lag look in a bull market and how does it look in a bear market okay and what does define the trend so-called three-point move and one of the most important things when a lot of people are making mistakes is when does trend end okay now we can debate the fact that the market because look forex market is moving in a trend only like 30 percent of the time the rest of the time is consolidating and now consolidation on a daily time frame consolidation or market sideways sideways moving is basically on a daily time frame for example some one can argue that uh sure it's moving sideways on a daily but when you go deeper in the time frames for example on 15 minute or on a five minute you can actually have a bunch of smaller trends within a trend okay and I'm, I'm not debating this this is not the theme and the subject of this video today today I'll just cover basic stuff about trend reading on a one single time frame it does not include a chart analysis on a multiple time frames just a trend reading on a one single time frame sure i understand and everybody else needs to understand that there are trends within a trend and then uh pullback on a daily time frame uh in a bull if, if it, for example if a daily time frame is in a bull trend and we have a pullback this small pullback on a daily time frame could mean a trend in a 15 minute time frame okay so sure we have trends within a trend but this is not today's topic okay so let's go back to the fact that i was saying before uh trend reading is very important and as i uh, this is my third year of trying how to trade forex okay still not succeeding completely but i'm there okay i have fully backtested my system but anyway uh for the first year and a half i was foolishly believing that i could make overnight riches with forex and i thought that i'm special that i can uh learn how to read the price chart very quickly and then i will start making money like immediately i was believing that 100 percent returns are more than realistic and that one can achieve this within a month etc 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 however this did this is not the case and in the first one year and one and a half years i was taught many things one of the things that i was taught is how to read a trend only to find out when i found my education company which is tier one trading and my coaches uh jason graystone and Akil stokes kudos to you guys that i was doing a bunch of stuff wrong and to fix this mistake that everybody else are making purposely or not i don't know and i don't, I don't want to go in that in that direction i want to show you openly how to proper properly read a trend okay that's why i'm creating this video and that's why i'm uploading it to this channel because i need i think that a lot of people could benefit from it if you earl if you learn in the early days of your training how to properly read a trend okay so as i said we will go how this market move we will cover what defines the trend and how to understand that we uh, how to understand uh some some things about the candlesticks you know when when is trend violated when it's not what does wick mean what does close means and what does open means okay and uh be, then we will go over a couple of the examples on a price chart so in order to start let's let me take my tools out okay and let's say I'll, I'll go over a few examples with my drawing tool here so let's assume this is our starting point here this is some kind of a price point and now uh, let's say that this price point 
point is attractive for buyers and a lot of people are st start starts buying here price orders comes in and price chart starts printing candlesticks okay we start moving up 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 at some point buyers are thinking oh wow we, we made some nice profit in this move we're gonna uh, take our profit in uh, and sellers are thinking here okay this is an attractive price for us to start selling so let's let us start selling and what what happens then price kind of stumble or stumbles okay and now as we have uh, sellers coming in here and buyers taking their profit which in this in essence they mean that they are selling we have price moving down a little bit okay so this so-called move is also it's called retracement or pullback or the outside return okay and still we just have two moves in this scenario of price we just have two moves we have no trend we have nothing we just have two moves one move which is called impulse move if you if this is our starting point then we have a retracement okay and then what happens in the market when the sellers took their sell positions here our buyers from here took their take profit positions making them also sellers price started retracing a little bit but now price came down and it became attractive for buyers again so buyers here are coming in now they're buying and sellers are taking their take profit here because they sold here so we have again sellers and buyers combined sellers taking their profit new buyers coming in moving price up <clears throat> and we have our turn move which gives us three point move and confirmed trend now the important thing here is to understand that it's a bull trend or a bear trend when we have a three point move when we have our initial starting point where our initial structure high our retracement and our new structure high but this point here this candle here that forms the close of a candle here this is a close this is the open of a candle this is the highest high of the candle and this is the lowest low of this candle but the close of this candle in a bull trend needs to close above the highest high of the previous structure high candle okay so for example let's say that we have a candle that looks like this and that this is this candle and that this candle closed like this highest high of the candle uh, the the close of this candle did not close above the highest high of, highest high of this candle and until that happens we don't have a three point move however if this candle would have looked like like this making this here close of a candle higher than the high of the previous here candle we would have a valid new structure high making this a three point move obviously this candle is much more higher than this candle the close of this candle is much higher than the highest high of this candle and we have our three point move making this a confirmed bull trend same thinking goes for the bear trend okay so if we have our starting point here we make our initial structure low here printing candle that looks like this then price retraces and then we have sellers pushing price lower again 
we come to this point here and if we print candle like this it's big as bear candle this candle did not close below the low the lowest low of this candle it didn't close we are still not in the confirmed bear trend so we still need to close below this lowest low however because of this week here we would need to close below this week to be in confirmed confirmed bear trend so we're looking for the next candle it didn't close next candle up it closed okay no wick nothing it can be a wick but the close of a candle is now lower than this wick here and we have a confirmed bear trend i know that this might seem like a, a little bit complex and uh complicated and foggy and it's not maybe clear for you but there is another video on this channel under understanding how to read a uh, candlesticks what is an open of a candle what is a close of a candle what is a high of a candle etc so go there watch the watch that video as well and then go back here and try to and re-watch the entire video about how to read a trend and then hopefully you will understand also if you have any questions whatsoever please comment below and i'll try to answer them and one more thing subscribe to this channel click that bell button uh click subscribe button and uh stay tuned for more videos but now let's go back to the trend reading okay so i'm gonna remove this and i'm gonna go back to the trend reading okay so we said that we have our initial starting point yes here starting point we have a pro, uh, initial structure high we have a retracement and we have a new structure high giving us a three point move and making this a bull trend i'm gonna re redo it this because i need a clear screen okay so structure high retracement and new structure high retracement will be with red color giving us our one two three point move and now the trick comes is when price starts retracing and in the real life markets not everything looks as smooth as, as this is uh, very often is the case that you have a movement like this okay to to upside and then the sellers come in and seller starts bringing price down and then it looks like this And now new betrayers as I were one, as I was one, I was thinking, wow, we have our three point move again. Okay. And this is now a bear trend while experienced traders, they know that in order for a confirmed trend, which ours is here, because this is our starting point and we have three point move confirmed trend like this ends only when its previous outside return or its previous retracement point the lowest low of the candle that form on the outside return which could be here which could look like this needs to be breached and by breached i mean you need to have a candle that will form here needs to close below this wick so this is not a bear trend this is just a complex pullback okay fooling foolish new people not foolish newbie traders who don't know how to trade properly yet that this is a bear trend and yet what can happen is this we can just start moving sideways and again it's just a sideways moving in the underlying bullish trend it's nothing else it can also happen that we start moving up and if we start moving up and then retracing again tell me guys a quick question what is the key point 
the price needs to breach or hold in order for hold in order for us to be in a bull trend or breach in order for us to be in a violation is it this outside return or it's another out is it this one this one this one this one this one which is it the thing here is that you don't know that outside return is the outside return until it happens <laughs> so weird but yeah like look we don't know that this point will be in the outside return until price price makes a new high at this point in the market we just know that this is our outside return because we have a new high and now we are retracing it and this is our point that we are focused on not this not this not this price is just moving down and when and if price ma price makes a new high candle here closes above this high then and only then we'll know that this is now our, our key point our outside return and not this anymore but if this doesn't happen, if this, if for example, this happens, which can, e which can easily happen. Okay, we still didn't breach anything. This, and now bar start, bars starts kicking in. Tell me, what is our outside return? What is our outside return point right now? This, this. And this, this, which is it? Let me tell you all of this here. I'm going to take purple. All of this here, all of this junk here is irrelevant. It's just market trying to fool you thinking okay we are in some kind of changes bam 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 no we still have our three point move one two three because this number two could also look like this you don't know how it's going to look so all of this is just junk and all of this here could easily be exchanged and i'm going to delete it just to make it very much more simple for you with a single point like this making this point the only point that matters and only because after this point price made a new high which is a higher than our previous highest high making this point here a valid a retracement but until this happened we don't know which price point will be our valid outside return so in order for a bull trend to end to end to violate a bull trend not to switch to the bear trend we need a violation of this four, number four okay i'm gonna make it nicer right now what we need it's number four we said like this it doesn't matter now somebody watching this could say okay man but you had like this no it doesn't matter this here is just like unimportant okay here so now we need a breach of this point here of a candlesticks lowest low of this candle that will form here in order for us to go into a violation of a bull trend okay so let's say that price starts we, we now saw a few examples of a bull trend and now let's just say that price starts moving down does this and then eventually it closes below this point it closed below this point and what happens sellers People that sold here are thinking, okay, now we made some nice profit here. We're going to take our profits. And buyers are saying, wow, price drop. It's attractive. 
let's start buying okay so price is moving up now and then the sellers are saying wow okay now the price is up I'm gonna sell again boom and the buyers that bought, bought here are taking profits so we have sellers selling buyers taking profits making them sellers price starts moving down what do we have what do we have we have how many points move all of this here is not important we have our initial starting point initial start uh, structure low because we breached our previous outside return at this point here we were nowhere we didn't know what's gonna happen but what happened is we had a retracement one our first move one our retracement two and our new structure low three making this now a confirmed bear trend if we didn't get this new structure low a candle that closed below this candle low then we wouldn't have a confirmed bear trend only when this happens, only when this happens, when we have a three point move, which is confirmed, then we have a confirmed trend. Let's repeat. Whew. Let's go over this again. I know it could be a little bit complicated right now, but it's, it's essential. Okay. So we had this market came here market closed below the point of a candle now we are nowhere because we have our single move okay breach of our previous outside return we are now no, no longer in a bull trend we are now in some kind of a weird state in no trend <laughs> now what could happen look it it's very easy that price could go and make a new high and what could what what happened we continue being in a bull trend but now all of this here when you're reading a trend could be just junk because in reality you have this you have retracement you have one move outside return and a new high it could easily be read like this as well, which would be correct. That's the thing. When you're reading a market, you never know what's going to happen. So it's very hard to read the market. But when you get used to it, it, it takes a lot of time, a lot of practice. But when you do read it, start reading it correctly, then it's, it's come much more easier. Okay, so we are back here. We violated our previous outside return. Now we are retracing. And what do we need to do in order to have a confirmed bull trend? We need to violate our initial structure low. And when we do, which is here, one move, retracement, third move, we have a confirmed three point move. And we are now in confirmed bear trend and that's it and now i'm gonna go down to my chart which i have here on euro dollar and show you and let me just delete all of this show you how you how how this actually looks like on a live chart okay so let's get to it bye bye okay so on this chart here on, on euro dollar we have a great example how markets are actually moving but before i start going into charts i gotta invite you like a every good youtuber to subscribe to my channel to click that like button to hit that bell button and spread the word and let's get a lot of people join this channel because i think that a lot of people can benefit from it if you had any benefit if you think I helped you a little bit, share it, like it, subscribe to it. And let's go back to the content. Okay, so here we are. And for this purpose, I'm going to use this tool here in TradingView. It's, 
it's a great charting tool so you can use it for the play as well now let's set this part here let's this price point be our starting point and this is what was happening move up move down move up this candle here is our key candle because maybe i rushed a little bit let me let me remove drawing tools we have our starting point and we have a swing low okay and then from this we have up we have down we have up but at this point, we still don't have a three point move. We're just moving sideways, right? And only this candle right here, it's important candle because our eyes are focused, should be focused on this low, on this wick right here. See this wick? Do you see this wick? This is our focus. When we close, because this is our starting point, ignore this, what, was hap what happened before. This is our starting point. We have our swing low, we wicked here a little bit, we went up, went down, went up, nothing major, and we need to close below this wick, you see? And this is the candle that gives us a close below this wick. Okay, now at this point, only when this candle closed, because when you're looking at this candle, it printed down, bars came in, and it closed here, okay? so. I'm gonna draw it like this. Now we have a three point move. How a three point move when you draw one, two, three, four, five moves? Well, now when we saw all of this, when you practice chart, little, chart reading a little bit, you will know that you can do this. Highest point, lowest point. Making this one, two, three point move. And our eyes now at this point, because none of this happened, Okay, we are still here. Our focus is on this point. Just this point. Look. This. Now we need to close below this line here to continue with the bear trend. And what do we have here? Move up, move down, move up, which is harder than this. Move down, move up. Yes. And a newbie trader, a trader that who is just starting out could say, wow, we have again a three point move. But what is our key point? Key point is our previous outside return, which is here. And as you can see, the price didn't came close to it. So we are still in the bear trend. We are just moving sideways. Market is printing a complex pullback or a complex outside return which we still don't know that it will be the outside return. The outside return will be this point only if the price in, in soon closes below this week here, making this another move. If that doesn't happen, if it goes up, we, we will think that this might be initial point if the price makes a new high then. See? You don't know what's going to happen until it happens. That's the beauty of Forex market. Okay. What was, what happened then? Let's move, let's move candle by candle. Sideways, sideways, up, 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 up. Almost there. Still, still in a bear, still in a bear trend, but we are getting closer to have a new lower low. Boom. This candle closed below this way. So all of this movement here, none of this is that important anymore. The only thing that's important, let's remove all drawing tools again, start from here, will be the highest point and now the lowest point. See how easy it is to read the market in hindsight? But when you're in the market, it's not that easy. So where is it? We got this close, but this is the lowest low here. So on the next candle, we will need to close below this wick. Okay. And this happened where? Up, down, up here, but this candle did not close below the wick. See a wick? See the candle? No market could easily go from here to the upside 
and still making this the highest uh, point of the return if it breaches the, to the downside somewhere some sometimes later but it didn't it breached and this candle here confirmed that we are still in a bear trend okay and then what happened let's go here now we are looking for this week this week right there oh wow 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 this is cool okay so this is a little bit complex we go down here we our focus is here on this week here this is our focus price goes up look at this goes up and retests and creates a lower low wick is this wick is lower than this wick here you can see but it didn't close below this wick so now the price needs to close below this wick here to confirm that we are still in a bear trend okay and then price came up came down tested this here with this candle you can see it tested it it wicked it created a lower wick so we need to close below this wick because we see that this happened but price could easily just jump up okay so we need to close below this wick and we closed it here making this the highest price point here our previous outside return moving down to here okay so we have our previous outside return here where is it here which when it violated we will be in a we will not be in a bear trend anymore so let's see what was happening after this we were moving up okay and in order to continue to be in a bear trend we need to close below this so i'm gonna to be in a bear trend we need to close below this wick here i'm gonna mark and in the book to switch from bear to some other type to sideways moving we need to close above this so i'll create this in a green and to continue being a bear trend i'll put this in a red okay so what what is happening we are moving down we are moving up we are moving down we are moving up up first test of our previous outside return that's our first test now it wicked it didn't close above it so now to breach it we need to close above this wick sorry okay we're moving up and this is our first candle that closed above this wick so we are no longer in the bear trend but we are still not in the bull trend now we are just in a phase of a switch probably maybe switching trends we are in a switching trend it doesn't need to we can go down and continue with the bear trend making this then in that case if, if we would go down here this would be our previous outside return like doom outside return going down but let's see what's going to happen up up but we we also need to watch for this this is our starting point in case that we make a retracement and go back and create a new high okay so this could be our starting point or a point where the bear trend will continue okay so i'm gonna switch it to blue opa so starting point initial high see initial high remove the drawing I'm gonna trend line starting point initial high initial low new high what do we have here one one move retracement outside return or a pullback new high we have our three point move goes up 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 let's see what happens up a new high so we have this 
another retracement, new high. So we are continuing with the bull trend. And now for a bull trend to end, what do we need? What is our previous outside return at this point right there? It's this point. Okay. And in order to, to, to for for a violation of a bull trend, we need to breach below close below this point. For a bull trend to continue, we need to go above. Bull trend continues up. What do we have here? Bull trend continues. We need to breach below this point because this is outside return. New high. Outside return. Is this an outside return? You have to ask yourselves here. Is this the outside return? Did the price make a new high? This is a great example. No. It just made a retest. None of these candles closed above the highest high of this candle. Nope. So we just have a high. Okay. That's everything we have here. We have our previous outside return, new high. Because this candle, this candle closed above this. Okay. But this is the highest high. So we always take this. And now we have a previous outside return. When we breach this outside return, we will be, we will no longer be in a bull trend but we will still not be in a bear trend okay so let's see what happens we come down to the test the outside return and what it we move up then down 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 up oh, here we go this candle here confirmed to me this bearish candle that we are no longer in a bull trend okay so i stopped looking for buy opportunities what do we have here Okay, a retracement. So becoming, this is our initial point. This is our initial price point now. Initial low, this is a retracement for me. Now, <laughs> this is gonna be good. For a bull trend to continue, we need to close above this way. For a bear trend, to get a confirmed bear trend, we need to close below this way. Bull trend here. We are moving sideways right now. Bear trend there. Let's see. Sideways, sideways, sideways. <laughs> Oppa, here we go. Real life example of a market. Okay, so up retracement, up breach of a bull trend. But again, we have a new high. Okay, so all of this fluff is just fluff right now. We don't need to write this. We can we can easily say okay. In hindsight, we can read it. Bull. Okay, uh, impulse like retracement here like this. New high. See, that's what market does to you. And now you can ask me maybe yeah, but then we made a mistake here. No, we find it significant when it was significant we didn't know what's going to happen now when we knew now when we know what what happened it's easy to say okay that was not so important but that's not wrong at that point i could i would probably if i back tested the strategy and this was my retracement i would probably be looking for a long opportunities here and sure okay i might took a loss who cares losses are part of a trading and now the market starts moving up, 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 retraces, retests. So we still have our initial high, blah, 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 sideways moving, etc., etc. I'm not going to go candle by candle until the end of this market. But I just wanted to show you the example of live market movements and how you can read the price chart. If you have any questions whatsoever, please comment below under this video, ask, rewatch the video and share the word also subscribe to the channel click that like button and hit that bell button thank you very much for watching and talk to you soon bye bye